Hey, this internet give y'all niggas an escape goat. You know what I'm saying? I usually don't say my lies. I'm gonna say this one. But the internet give y'all niggas an escape goat, man. Especially our new breed ass niggas, man. Niggas, any niggas and shit that's like jail do not make you hard. Jail do not make you hard. But if you do go through that motherfucker and make it out, that make you a motherfucking gladiator. You hear me? So all that shit about you talking all that gangster shit about you killing people, popping pills and everything, nigga. And you never got swerved and got a motherfucking drug case. Or if you ain't never get swerved and got a pistol case, nigga. And you ain't never get swerved on none of that bullshit, nigga. And you don't go to the county, you didn't live your white bread ass life, nigga. As a motherfucking civilian, nigga, you not a motherfucking gangster, nigga. And I've said it, I'm gonna stamp on it, nigga. If you, if nigga, if you ever been in these motherfucking streets, I ain't talking about in and out, nigga. If you ever been in these motherfucking streets, nigga, and you was a real street, nigga, you didn't went to jail before. Fault, nigga. That's on every motherfucking thing, nigga. So you ain't never step your bitch ass in a foot in motherfucking jail. How you a motherfucking gangster, nigga? You ain't no fucking gangster, nigga. You a Rudy Pooh, nigga. You a smart nigga. You a suburb, nigga. You a schoolboy, nigga. The fuck you mean, nigga? These niggas be getting on this hoe and running their mouth. The internet protect a lot of y'all niggas, man. Nigga, shut the fuck up, nigga. Because if y'all was in jail, there ain't no pistols, ain't no clicks, ain't none of that shit, nigga. The gang that you claim, nigga, they gonna beat your ass when you step in. They ain't do none of that shit with me. Nigga, cause I, nigga, I did my thing. Nigga, that's why I speak on Percy, nigga. Because, nigga, I was in one, I was on the, one of the worst forums in the fucking TDC, nigga. The fuck you mean, nigga? These niggas be getting on this hoe, run their mouth, jail don't make nah, You a pussy that sit under your bitch, nigga. This conversation ain't for no weak ass, nigga. So just like I said earlier, okay, what make Charles the White a motherfucking hypocrite? Because he's speaking what's real. This is the motherfucking war. Us against these fuck niggas because these fuck niggas is making it hard for real niggas. Man, um, bro, come on, man. That's how I know. That's how I know. That's how I know. It don't make, bro, look, just like I said, bro, if you fucked up, bro, if you in the street, by going to jail knowing that you fucked up, that's that just it. That don't give you no body push, but going to jail knowing that you fucked up, you around a lot of old mother, mother gangsters, you feel me? All that old weak ass shit niggas talking about what make you go to jail. I'm a very intelligent man. There's a lot of intelligent niggas in jail, bro. So I don't ever think because a nigga made a decision to go to jail that he a dumb ass niggas. There's a lot of niggas running circles around. There's a, it's a lot of millionaire niggas in jail, nigga. The fuck you mean, nigga? Niggas talking about duck. Nah, you got the right to carry. You don't got to duck for the laws. You can hand that ID, nigga. So if you don't live the same life I live, how you can even comment on it? How can you even tap on it? You can't. You can't, y'all niggas can't. If you don't live the life a nigga live, you can't even comment on it, nigga, because you never you went through shit. Everything you went through, you never been in jail. If you never get, got in trouble in your life, everything you're doing is unnecessary, then you. You can take the other motherfucking route, nigga. It's too many. That's why a lot of niggas getting killed because they ain't built like it. They don't know how to maneuver in the motherfucking woods, nigga. A lot of y'all niggas don't even know how to maneuver in the woods, nigga. So you got this nigga, you got this nigga Rizzo Rizzo online calling Charles White a hypocrite, but bro, you the biggest hypocrite ever, nigga. You got to yayo them business and three weeks later you got robbed and you on pity party. I'm going to bounce back. Then you got the nigga, the head of your camp. The head of your camp saying, we warriors over here, but if his chain gets snatched, y'all niggas about to die. How dumb is that? Come on, nigga. Never been to jail. Nigga, low-key turn his back on you when, you're, when you in trouble, but you still rapping that shit? You weak as hell. I ain't, man, nigga, I ain't dissing now, nigga. I'm just speaking what's real. If a nigga tell, if I get robbed, my nigga, and you don't ride for me like I ride for you, our friendship is over. I won't be rapping a bitch ass thing, nigga. The fuck wrong with y'all niggas. Y'all niggas get on this whole this boat. IG, Facebook, OnlyFans, that made y'all niggas comfortable. It made y'all niggas comfortable to the fact that y'all don't know what's real and what's fake is, man. Y'all know what's real and what's fake is, man. The fuck you mean, nigga? Stop playing. I really live this shit. I ain't no fake it, bro. I really live this shit. Exa bro, it, it, it ain't about no chain, man. That nigga got robbed. Like, if me and you niggas, and my nigga just got robbed, right? Bro, we gonna really go look for that because, nigga, if I'm a leader, and you gonna ride for me like I ride for you, I'm gonna ride for you, and I'm gonna get your shit back by any cost. 
Not get on this whole line, but people need to understand one thing, but I'm just speaking facts and I'm just giving my opinion. Every time something happened with South Walker, oh, I was a big outrage. You got a thousand niggas. You got a thousand niggas saying something. But when, when something happened to one of them, you don't hear a peep. You don't hear nothing. That scared me. That scared me. I wouldn't be ripping no shit then when, when niggas are biased. I only protect these group of niggas, but I won't be protected. But that's when you become a man and stay on your own, though. See, that's what a lot of niggas not understanding. If I didn't ever go to prison, I would have been dead. And I wouldn't know what respect it was about. So I had to go to prison to find out what respect it was about and find out what standing there go 10 mean. Nigga, I stood on my 10, all 10 when I was in prison. So when it come all down to it, nigga, y'all niggas out here rapping shit, saying shit, and willing to die for shit, but when it come all down to it, nigga, I ain't gonna pay for that lawyer. Grandma gonna try to sell the house and sell fish place every Friday to get that retainer. Niggas ain't gonna put money on your books. Niggas ain't gonna do none of that shit. Them niggas gonna leave you out in the motherfucking wilderness. That's what I found out about gangsta shit. That's what I found out about when I went to jail. Niggas that I thought was rocking with me. Niggas that I thought that was real. They wasn't real. And I was in that house hungry. And my family didn't look out for me. I ain't get a visit. I ain't get a phone call. I ain't get nothing. But I was around some real ass niggas. Y'all niggas out here is really living on this old fight. That's them drugs is a motherfucker, man. And I ain't was talking about weed. Them drugs are a motherfucker. Y'all niggas be living y'all life high like dolphins and don't almost know what reality is. You feel me? Stop playing, man. It's time to test all that shit. Nigga, I'm not scared of now nigga that lost a fight. I'm not scared to lose a fight. But I'm scared of now nigga that lost all his shit and do a bitch ass thing. You can't get on a lot of cow. Nobody no hypocrite, my nigga. And you can't leave these niggas get in my check, get in my comments to be texting. Nigga, you're not hard, bro. Any nigga that's scared to show their face, they screaming. No face, no case, man. Let me tell you something, bro. Everybody see everything. So I'm a nigga, I'm gonna gun you down in broad daylight because a nigga gonna tell anyway. A nigga gonna tell anyway. Once they put that, once the government put that bounty on your head, nigga, everybody, if they got a whiff about what's going on, they gonna tell anyway. So niggas shit like niggas out here really playing games. You got niggas in the text messages. Twitter fingers. Twitter fingers. That's all they got niggas do. Nigga, I do this. Nigga, I do that. And then when a nigga see you and your bitch ass ain't gonna do shit. But try to call some laws, nigga. Nigga, real talk. Niggas, bro, come on, man. Y'all niggas is scary out here for real. Twitter finger ass niggas. Getting on y'all ass out 2021. I'm getting on y'all ass out 2021. It's nowhere in hell, bro, that a black man, I don't give a fuck what he say. Nigga, if you don't live your life righteously, you can't call a judge or other man for not living his life righteously. But you got to give trust to like his motherfucking card because he trying to correct our people. The fuck wrong with you? Do I agree with everything Charleston White say? Hell no. But that's his opinion. That's what he say. But if that nigga say... I want to die for my black women. I want to die to make sure that we don't be recognized as ignorant ass people. Why not? Why not? A lot of y'all niggas is make believe ass niggas, man. A lot of y'all niggas are make believe ass niggas, man. Stop playing games, man. The niggas that y'all follow, the niggas that y'all fans of, because that's the, that's the other thing too. And what make the game even sicker is y'all niggas are fans of niggas, bro. Y'all niggas are fans. So a fan is you got this old fast set, like how this person is. But then once y'all realize y'all fans are whole ass niggas, how you gonna feel? Come on, man. When y'all find out the nigga that you look up to as a hoe, how you gonna feel? Come on, man. Nigga got his motherfucking chain snatched and he on the motherfucking line talking about, nigga, you a hypocrite, bro. Nigga, Rizzo, Rizzo, you was a fucking hypocrite to everything that's good, do, had to do with gangsta them. You was a motherfucking hypocrite, nigga. You was a motherfucking hypocrite, nigga, because you just gonna bounce back, but you didn't do shit. Once South Walker didn't endorse your war, you caught, you put, you waved that white flag, you feel me? Because let me tell you something, they ain't stopped the Chicago niggas from coming to Houston. If a nigga would have robbed me from Chicago, and this ain't no beef between Chicago, but this is what it is. If a nigga robbed me from Chicago, any of his people would come to Houston, y'all would be doomed. 
Y'all will be doomed. That's the difference. That's why I stay my bitch ass in the house to play my PlayStation. Blicker. <laughs> so what about Blicker? This is what I'm going to say about Blicker, man. What y'all niggas need to understand is, Blicker is under the old law, my nigga. Whatever he did with that statement, bro, and y'all going to respect it or don't respect it. Them broke ass bitches shouldn't have been in no room trying to rob nobody. Them broke ass bitches shouldn't have been no Them broke, broke, broke ass hoes. That's the, those are set up hoes. How set up hoes are being select, like being put as being real? Them hoes ain't real. Was it real? See, th- th- this is what I'm going to say about Blicker. I think I got robbed before too. But I wasn't trying to hit no nigga over no motherfucking head. I, I ain't counting no laws. But his situation, whatever worked for him, worked for him. And, and a lot of y'all that's on my live right now, if something happens, y'all gonna call the fucking police. The fuck? So if your grandma called the police and you at your grandma, she called the laws, she, she a snitch? Man, I ain't gonna say, bro, you can't say blick out of the pocket. You can't, you, cause you was not in the, see, and that's where a lot of people be getting it fucked up at. You're not in blick situation. You're not in blicking situation. I'm not in blicking situation. When I call laws on some hoes, I would have knocked them hoes muffin top off. I would have knocked them hoes muffin top off. But maybe he didn't want to kill somebody's daughter. Maybe he didn't want to beat up a hoe. Sometimes, y'all better understand, sometimes sending people to judge the political move so they can lose everything, nigga. So stop thinking when somebody kind of lies on your dumb ass. Stop thinking when somebody kind of lies on your dumb ass like it's not going to hurt. Like it's not gonna hurt. Like it's not gonna hurt. And bro, look, whatever your name is, I ain't trying to get to a nigga online that I don't know, bro. I ain't trying to argue with you. I ain't trying to say what I do to you. My, I'm just speaking my opinion. So when it come out down to it with Blicker's situation, do I feel like Blicker is a rat? That's not my situation to call him a rat. Because if I was in a situation, I would have beat them hoes up, bro. And I don't give a fuck. I would have beat the dust out. I would have beat the tampons out that bitch. I would have beat the tampons out them bitches. Bitch, if you, if you would have put your, if you would have put yourself in a situation with a gorilla bitch, I'm going to show you that you, I'm going to show you that you will never get another nigga neck. I would have beat them hoes up neck. See, that's why I don't trust hoes. That's why I'm married. That was his fault for trying to be a, t- he got a wife. So that's what come on a bitch. Because if you married, you don't have no business. Ain't nothing wrong. If you got a gal, that's one thing too. If you got a gal and you got a woman in your life that's real, it's nothing wrong about being faithful and being real to your bitch. Because anything being fake outside your bitch, that's what's going to happen. So in my situation, what I feel about it was technically in street terms, Blicker is a rat. In street terms. But in law terms, he's not. He's not. Y'all niggas out here will get killed before y'all call help him. Y'all, y'all will get killed believing in stupidity. That's what's so scary. Bro, that nigga, ain't, they ain't understand it, bro. That nigga's walking, it's a different ball game. You got a $100 nigga, you got a $1,000 nigga, and then you got a $100,000 nigga, then you got a million dollar nigga. Them niggas walking around with insurance policies on their neck. You hear me? So he, in order to claim your money, you have to make a police report. Just as much as somebody breaking your house, like somebody breaking my house and trying to steal my TV. I'm going to have to make a police report because I'm off the insurance money. My shit is insured. So his shit was insured. So it pop was a scam the whole time. And he break them hoes out, but them hoes on probation. Them hoes like, bro, don't celebrate them hoes like them hoes real. Don't celebrate like them hoes real. Them hoes got exposed. I'm thank, I thank God that hoe got online and showed her motherfucking face. Because, bitch, I'm happy I know how you look. I'm happy I know how you look. Bitch, what the fuck you mean, nigga? Y'all niggas get on this hoe and be on some make-believe ass shit. Be on some make-believe ass shit, man. That shit crazy. Yeah, y'all niggas be on some make believe shit. That's why I don't hang with niggas. That's why I don't affiliate myself with that street shit. If you're a street nigga and you believe in the street mentality, I stay far away from y'all motherfuckers as possible because that means y'all believe in ignorance. The fuck you mean, nigga? Who gonna listen to a nigga that got raw for his change that haven't got it back? Not me. You just as bad as the motherfucking rat. 
You gotta understand one thing, bro. I'm gonna speak on that blicker sheet. Every nigga that he's going against, man, he done did something for. He done did something for. Y'all niggas not paying attention to the biggest picture, bro. This was scary about a lot of y'all niggas, man. This was scary about a lot of y'all niggas. If a nigga take a picture with you, a nigga say that he gonna kill for you, bro, and over one, after one disagreement, my nigga, this nigga said he gonna kill you. You better not come over here, you pussy. That mean he was smiling in your face and thinking that you was pussy the whole time. Dude, these niggas are these niggas are worse than these hoes, man. I learned that a long time ago. I fuck with some stiff ass females before I fuck with some weird ass niggas, man. Like my, but the only nigga I'm about to really hang with is no cap, my nigga, my my bro that I play football with that stay in Seattle. That's gonna probably be the only nigga I fuck with. I don't gonna fuck with that many niggas, man, because I don't trust niggas. Niggas be having emotions like they be having mental periods, man. These niggas get on this house and be mentally bleeding, my nigga. They on this house, oh, oh, this nigga, oh, this nigga. Okay, okay, this is what I'm about to ask. Damn, did y'all really get this nigga chain? Jacked in LA and then pay him after y'all got all that money? Pay your motherfucking debt. Pay your motherfucking debt. If you know the nigga was looking out for you, if you know the nigga was looking out for you, and the nigga was being real, it, nigga, you got $20,000, pay that nigga back. But then, look, it don't wait 15 years later. And say a nigga owe you. Tell my what about Blizzard? Nah, no, oh man, I, I, to be honest, man, that nigga made a smart judgment call. That's that, that's what I feel about Blizzard. Blizzard made a smart move. He made a smart move, man. Cause he would have killed them bitches, and he would have been in jail for the rest of his motherfucking life. So he called the motherfucking laws, got these bitches full government name. If he see these bitches full fifteen steps away, this what y'all niggas don't know. Nigga, I will lose. I will use the law to my advantage. I'm gonna give y'all some free game. A nigga threaten you, say he gonna kill you, bro. Nigga, don't keep that shit in the street. Mm 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 mm. Cause y'all niggas never went through murder cases, so y'all don't know how it is. Once you discharge a firearm, or when you shoot somebody, the shit that you gotta go through. So when you go through that shit, you be like, the best, next time I'm just going to call the laws, man, because they ain't going to stick no light, light sentence on me. You got to prove your bro. This is what niggas ain't understanding. You remember I told my little bro, Laro? I said, no matter what it is, nigga, mm -hmm. you going to have to prove your motherfucking self to the state of Texas, nigga. Mm -hmm. So don't ever do something that you can't prove yourself that you being right. The fuck you mean murder? Man, you don't have them laws going to come. Or they gonna hunt you or put you on every TV like you're a villain. So you're gonna look like a villain for the street. And then when you get the baby, and then hold up, the baby a rat? No. Huh? I'm just saying, baby, it's the baby a rat. But when the baby, when the baby get shot that nigga inside that motherfucking Walmart, the baby had to tell the police what he did. Right. He had to cooperate. Hold up, hold up. He had to tell them what he did. It's addictive with snitching and cooperating. Right, with the police, bro. Yeah. So to me, when it look like if you're a fan of the baby, whoa, that nigga, if you're a fan of that nigga, you can't call Blicka a snitch. Because them niggas walked up on the baby in the motherfucking in Walmart, pulled out a burner, he popped that ass, he waited for the police to come and cooperated with the police. What the fuck you mean? The fuck you talking about, bro? Stop Bum B, Bum B and his wife. The nigga came to his house and robbed him. This and I ain't talking about I ain't talking about Uncle Bun, but I'm just saying with some real shit. Uncle Bun ain't no snitch. When that nigga tried to rob Uncle Bun, Uncle Bun shot the nigga. What Uncle Bun did? Call the laws after the fact. Yeah, of course. You cannot affiliate street shit with crime shit. You cannot affiliate street shit with crime shit. That was crime shit. Bro, come on, bro. man. Come on, you right, Gucci? Bro, wait, wait. What? Gucci man killed that nigga, sat in that house. When the police asked him what happened, he cooperated. That's the big, that's a difference between, that's how I know a lot of y'all niggas have been in trouble. Mm -hmm. dumb a dumb motherfucker don't know. You gonna have to talk to these laws if you do some real vicious out in these streets, man. Dumbass nigga. Shit, they tell my bro he chased that hoe. Bro, bro, please. Please. They celebrating them hoes.
They celebrating them hoes. They don't lie with them hoes. Oh, uh, bro, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, don't come around me with none of that street ass shit. Can let, me, let, let, let me show you something. I'm going to show y'all something right quick. I'm going to show y'all something right quick. The only thing I do is tell a nigga this. I was hot out here today, man. And these motherfuckers shit just falling down. Hey, look. This the only thing y'all niggas gotta do, man. Is if y'all tell a nigga, a nigga say he wanna pull up, this is your access to shoot a nigga. When you tell a nigga, if a nigga say he gonna pull up. When a nigga say to pull up, this, I'm obeying the law right here. No trespassing. This means so much in the law's eyes. No trespassing. No trespassing. This big as day. So if I tell you, hey, don't come to my house, man. That's a verbal trespassing warning. Saying do not come to my house because whatever happened to you is going to result into violence, my nigga. It's going to result into violence, my nigga. Is you serious? Y'all niggas is taking this street shit and going too far with it. Y'all taking this street shit and going too fucking Far with it. Shit, I'm a convicted felon, but my wife was licensed to carry. And she got a level 4 security license. That means she can take her pistol anywhere she go. So what do that mean for a lot of niggas? I just gave y'all free game. What do that mean for a lot of niggas? When a lot of niggas say, I'm about to run up and I'm about to do this. Bro, you don't get your ass smoked. By law. By law. And they going to scrape your body up. They going to scrape your body up and go on to the next story, bro. That's what y'all niggas not understanding. Y'all niggas don't even have guns to stand there when the laws come. That's why a lot of niggas run. Come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. Y'all think that shit real? That shit wasn't real. When I saw the nigga, bro, when I saw the nigga statement, I'm like, oh, okay, Blicker. Okay, Blicker. You can't be screaming that gangster shit now. And, and then soon as the, soon as you got into it, you cut out laws when I thought about it. That's not my situation to judge that nigga. Because a lot of niggas low key will do some right ass shit. You don't know about exit, bro. Man. You don't know about a bitch makes me. And I mean, my boat makes hurt. Yeah, dude. Makes hurt. I've been maced a couple of times. And I ain't gonna lie to you, I was dealing with a crazy ass bitch. Bitch called me sleep. Cause I'm cheating on the bitch. The bitch makes my dick. That's what's. Hey. Hey, <laughs> hey, that could, that was off between me and her. I feel like that's an aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Jesus. Come on, bro. Y'all niggas tripping. Y'all, y'all niggas tripping. Man, please, my, you know what's so creepy? You know how? You know what's real? My auntie know about Charleston White. And my auntie damn near fifty. Bro, see, you doing wrong, bro? Look, let me tell you something. A lot of niggas got attitudes like spiteful bitches. You can't put nothing, char- you can't put nothing past a spiteful bitch. You can't put nothing past a spiteful bitch. And a lot of niggas have a mentality as a spiteful bitch. You feel me? That's not my situation. On God, I, I got yeah, like niggas, niggas like man, me and my fitty niggas got robbed on Foreign Park. We didn't call no laws. We had that shit in the street. We had that shit in the street. But I know if the laws would have caught me, I would mind out of 10, I'd be doing a sentence because the laws ain't going to try to hear the, the nigga robbed me. If you got robbed, why you didn't call the police right then and there? That's what the police going to do. If you got robbed, why you didn't get to the same place and call us? We would have went over there and tried to get your shit back. Like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. That when you get in trouble and get locked up, that's the first thing they're going to say. Why you didn't call us? Yeah. That's going to instantly make you in. Street justice do not maintain the court or stay in the court. Know that. I tried that shit. Shit, I got caught up in Jefferson County on two, uh, on two, uh, like she, on two shootings. Bro, I'm gonna tell y'all, nigga, video, video surveillance cleared me on a, on a, on a case one time, but they still charged me with a gun. I didn't tell y'all nothing and do all the rest of that shit. I, I, I ain't do none of that, but at the same time, too. I will look you down the court. Big facts. So, nigga, what niggas ain't understanding is, man, you can't call that nigga. 
uh, lick a hoe. If you never got pepper spray before, <laughs> you got your hundred thousand dollars worth of gym. He dumb as fuck. He dumb as fuck because he got a wife. He got a wife. You should just went home and got his dick sucked by his wife. She your wife, so she ain't gonna tell you no. She ain't gonna suck your dick. Ain't no other bro. Ain't no other hoe, bro. Ain't, that's that's why I don't play with hoes, bro. It ain't no need. Ain't no need. I don't play with women. Ain't no need. I don't, I don't need to fuck with no big booty bitch because I be feeling like every big booty bitch or every fine hoe trying to plot. If you want to just try to take my shit. That's why I got married real quick. I ain't about to play that game. Because, nigga, bro, you got nigga, you got some you got some hoes be fucking you and they got a whole nigga that stay in their house and tell the nigga to leave because you coming. Been through that. Facts. Uh-uh. Facts. That will come with it. But see, that's agolata. That's optional. My thing is, why in the fuck you catching an Uber with some hoes and you got a wife? That's what I'm saying. You got niggas make it being favor to your wife is player, unplayer. They make you they make you being a family man, unplayer these days. The only thing people people want you to be is a a, a, a liquid hair and sipping cigarette smoking dumbass nigga. Yeah, bro. I I had one of my partners. Ain't no lie. That nigga cheated on his wife. That nigga went and got a fifteen year case. Because he got pulled over with a pistol. And he was on the way to go fuck a bad bitch. And while his wife was at home, come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Like, come on, bitch. Like, yeah. And with and Blicker. So. Bro, let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something, man. When you think of that whole situation, that nigga was thinking with his dick, not his head. That nigga was thinking with his dick, not his head. One thing that you can't stop that nigga from, from doing, and this is the most scariest part ever. And this is the most scariest part ever. That nigga say, I want a duck. I want a TSF piece. Them niggas in Fort Worth didn't get that, them TSF pieces. You hear me? But they didn't get that shit. But why did Blicker say within this amount of time, I want your peace? And guess who got it? He got that hoe. So what you know what Sauce Walker need to be doing? He need to be evaluating everybody that's around him. Because it's somebody in this world, and I tell my wife all the time, the nigga that we call a hoe ass nigga. It's somebody that love that hoe ass nigga. Everybody don't think that Blicker, I don't know that nigga, but everybody don't think that Blicker is a hoe ass nigga. What about that motherfucker he feeding? What about that motherfucker he makes sure that he divide, survive? And if he die, they whole life gonna change. You gotta think about them people too. And what they willing to do, not to go back to the situation that they was in. That's how I know niggas ain't in real situation. Niggas is thinking out for emotions. If if anybody saying that, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. When I said the paperwork shit, read the paperwork, bro, I really didn't even know the details of it. You know what I'm saying? And half of the time, people put out fake ass news. You never know what the half of the details is. Man, look, man, look. You let a nigga so close to you that he took something from you. And he alive. And he alive. And he alive. Like, stop playing, bro. When you really in the street and niggas do real under the all out type ass shit, you in the street and you doing some real shit, you not going to be allowed to talk about it, bro. So the niggas alive. Come on. These niggas been saying before when they were beefing, I ain't believe it. But then what made me believe, go, yeah, yo, then when I saw the nigga with the duck piece, when they said they getting robbed in their own city. Come on, bro. I'm just a spectator to give my opinion. Nothing I'm saying is factual. And I don't want nobody getting their motherfucking feeling. You know what I'm saying? So in my mind, in my mind, this is my thought and how I feel. It's like, y'all not who y'all say y'all are. 
And then we stand in the city of four million people. Dead man can't say shit. But an angry bitch ass nigga can. An angry bitch ass nigga can. Y'all niggas need to understand what's real and what fake is, bro. That nigga got in my motherfucking comments, bro. And, th- and I always get them all little, little chest ass little boys. They get in my motherfucking comments and try to talk big to a nigga. Like, go check my mug shot. Go check my mug shot. <laughs> nigga, who calling you? That's the phone for that bitch. I'm gonna call you right there. Matter of fact, I'm about to get off this hoe. You, I'm about to get off this hoe. You wanna talk to. You hung up on that bitch? Huh? You hung up on that bitch? Yeah. I'm about to get off this hoe. Cause she gotta take care of some business. She be talking too much. Oh, bro, what nigga, I'm gonna say this about Brazy, bro. Niggas don't 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 believe the hype on the internet about Brazy. I like Brazy. Brazy is Brazy is a hitter, and at the day nothing to be proud of. But Brazy is a hitter. Brazy been in the street since he was like seventeen or probably before he was seventeen. I used to see Brazy, I used to see Brazy in the strip club all the time, man, with all the niggas because he was a shooter. So with that with that being said, is like. The internet to make a motherfucker look one way, but don't really know what's up, bro. A lot of y'all niggas don't know what's up about these niggas. Y'all think that nigga a hoe, and I don't believe that. You see what I'm saying? So you know that I'm not lying then. Because Brazy used to be around a nigga named Dot, and Dot used to be a pimp. I don't know what happened to Dot. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, with that being said, man, y'all niggas better stop believing what these niggas. Because that shit is fake, and that shit for attention. You feel what I'm saying? I'm out in nigga situations. I can't tell with a nigga. I can't tell a nigga what he would do. I can't tell a nigga what he ain't gonna do. But at the same time, too, whatever decision a motherfucker make, that's for the best decision of them. Exactly. So online you can call a nigga a bitch. Online you can call a nigga a bitch. On, on, you know what I'm saying? Through text messages, nigga can embarrass you with words, but when it really come down to actions, bro, what's gonna really happen? Cause some niggas, like if a nigga was a Rudy Poo, nigga would have been dead, nigga would have been stretched out. Niggas, niggas when they shot, niggas then, well, that's the other thing I'm up again, I'm gonna get off this home. Niggas said that Sauce Brazy, niggas said that Sauce Brazy, Mama House got shot up. Why you trying to kill that nigga Mama over some shit that he did? People, families don't have nothing to do with the madness that these niggas get themselves in. But these niggas don't keep it gangster. These niggas don't own no motherfucking code. It ain't no motherfucking code. So, like, on some real shit, until a motherfucker recognize and expose that shit, this fuck shit gonna keep on happening. I hope we don't lose it because we got to get on focus on what's really going on. We need to start owning houses. We need to start owning land. We need to fuck owning cars and jewelry. We need to start owning houses and land. We need to start opening up storefronts for our kids. We need to start doing a whole bunch of shit for our people instead of entertaining fake-ass bullshit, fake-ass gangster shit. But look, he got enough money to change a lot of people's lives, but he not. He going to be a gangster. So I swear got a lot of money to change people's life in a positive way. But how many scholarships did, like, this This is real. Y'all support South Walker. I don't have a problem with South Walker. I'm just pointing out facts. How many scholarships did South Walker gave out? How many scholarships did South Walker gave out? How many things did you see that he really do? But when it come out of the negative light, he all over. Y'all got to pay attention to these things, man. And what y'all know, when y'all recognize what's real and what fake is, y'all totally understand where the fuck I'm coming from. Real niggas don't have, real niggas don't have, they don't, real niggas don't get the same effect as these foolish ass niggas, man. Exactly, bro. Bro, let me tell you what the most gangster shit, bro. Ever. 
I go to the store, right? Little girl, little girl in that house, she get caught stealing. Mama in that house stealing too. Nigga about like, on guard, I don't put none of this shit online. On guard, they about to send this lady to jail. I got this lady, I ain't even have the money, bro. But I got this lady $150 so they won't go to jail. The dude said he didn't want, he, he, he try to, he try to, he try to keep the shit away from him. I gave her $150 and bought the shit. That she wanted. So, like, on some real shit, if you ain't doing none of that shit, bro, or try to stop some of that shit, bro, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to try to save a nigga before I have to bond him out of jail. I'm going to try to save a nigga. I'm going to be the nigga that tell my, I tell my partners all the time, I do not want you to die for me. I want you to live for me. Cause if you die for me and we both are dead, we in the same motherfucking position. So I want you to fucking live for me. So I never want a nigga to tell me that he's gonna die for me. Because if me that means you die for me, that means you can't do nothing for me. That means the thoughts or the, the ambitions I had or the things that we can have conversations about, they can never come into a phase or come into reality because you wanna die for me. Come on, man. People gotta get this shit right right here. This is the most powerful thing that you got right here. Your brain and your heart. But a lot of motherfuckers don't understand that. A lot of motherfuckers don't understand that. But there's a lot of people that don't fucking like me because of what I say. But I can't hold it back no more. I can't hold it back no more. I can't keep on while getting on Instagram and Facebook and watching these sucker ass niggas win. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. Because it's some real sucker ass shit. These niggas encouraging murder. These niggas encouraging mischief. They encouraging like, bro, if a nigga is a boy, because I got four, I got four daughters, man. A nigga for a nigga to, to, to brag about the mistreatment of women. Now, all I can think about my daughters. All I can think about my daughters. And these old creep ass niggas going to think they going to love on my daughters or think they can play with my daughters. I will kill one of y'all niggas if y'all think y'all can do something to my daughter. I kill one of y'all niggas, man. If y'all niggas, if my daughter call a nigga motherfucking daddy, nigga, I'm gonna kill you, bro. Like on everything I love, I'm gonna, bro. I'm gonna try to hurt you, bro, cause you ain't gonna take advantage of my daughter. That's why right now I, I'm strengthening my daughter's mind. Come on, man. Come on, man. But everybody, but watch though. Everybody that's fans of these niggas, bro, I'm watching y'all. I'm watching y'all because I'm watching y'all in these comments. I'm watching y'all what y'all say. Because them comments really show you who people are. And sometimes y'all need to take a step back and read what your friend be talking about. Say, can't play with my daughters, I will. Play with my family, I will. No hesitation. Don't get on here talking hard, ignorant ass nigga. Go enjoy your morning. Go sip on some Pedialyte, like nigga. Don't get on this house talking hard. Go mind your business. It's easy. I don't comment on everybody's shit. I don't talk about everybody's shit. But this is what moved me because this was in my city. So if you're a pimp, you're a weak ass, tender dick ass nigga that have mama issues. And you are not being praised, nigga. Niggas always get on this house and be laughing and be playing. Niggas be having a death wish, man. Stupid ass nigga, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'm working on it. I'm working it. Okay, bro. And I apologize for being seen how quick that is. I apologize for disrespecting you, bro. I'm a real man. I ain't no fake ass nigga, bro. I'm about to get off this out. I am working on the podcast, bro. Yeah, um, I'm about to enjoy my morning. I just had to get on this out because... Because I had to get on this hoe this morning because I saw that nigga Rizzo Rizzo was talking shit to Charles White, so calling him a hypocrite. And I did that just shit. I ain't gonna lie to you, that shit made me emotional. And I got on here and spoke my mind. So I hope y'all have a great morning. I hope y'all have a great year. We in day four of the new year. You know what I'm saying? Have a, have a great morning.